You know, what annoys me the most is when somebody sit here and establish their own set of rules of how things should work, and then they apply it on the work of fiction without learning how things work in that work of fiction. This is a perfect example of that. According to this dude, Saitama doesn't get past 3D because the highest a being can get if they have infinite potential is infinite 3D. Really? And Goku and Base can easily one-shot the microcosm, which is 5D complex multi. He also moves without space and time, giving him infinite to immeasurable speed when future Zeno erase infinite Zamatsu who fused with Trunks' timeline. There was no space and time, and he still carried future Zeno to the present time. More proof is that Jenner was stated to have transcended time and T.O.P. And current Goku speed blitzes Jiren and T.O.P. Even Goku M.U.I. and T.O.P. speed blitzes and Goku also tank hits that could destroy microcosms plus Goku has higher cosmology. Ooh. It was stated in the panel with the graph that Saitama's power was exponential, meaning that it kept growing rapidly but could never reach infinity. Goku has already surpassed infinity. Just look at the statement feats and other stuff in the Daizen shoes. I'm basically telling him I don't give a fuck about his head cannon. And then he says, bro, what the fuck you mean by head cannon? Beings with infinite potential can only reach infinite 3D at best. And Saitama's power increases exponentially, meaning his power will keep going, but will never reach infinity. You're just being biased and can't accept any arguments about how this character can beat Saitama or that character can beat Saitama. You know why I ain't accepting your arguments? Because the bullshit you wrote here is literally contradicting the factual information itself. That's why I'm not accepting your garbage-ass fucking arguments. Y'all can go ahead and read the shit I wrote. But the thing is, he, he, he says Saitama can only reach infinite 3D at best. And... Saitama doesn't get past infinite 3D. Because the highest that being can get if they have infinite potential is infinite 3D. <sighs> it was stated in the panel with the graph that Saitama's power is real, meaning that it kept growing rapidly but could never reach infinity. <sighs> this is the bullshit I'm talking about. And one thing you say, well, he's infinite 3D at best. And another comment you say, he'll never reach infinity. Like, what are we doing here? His strength is literally the fucking infinity symbol. Your opinion ain't matching up with the factual info. It's not. This is why I'm not taking your bullshit seriously. It's, it's heck, canon. You're placing limitations on a character who don't have those limitations. You literally got Garo confirming he's so strong, infinitely strong, as he's fighting him. Confirming what the graph literally showed. Saitama's strength literally is infinite. His strength is literally the infinity symbol. It's literally the infinity symbol. You did all of that cat you did all of that scaling putting Goku at 5D and saying his cosmology is higher, but Saitama power does not give a fuck how powerful the opponent is. You understand nothing about one punch, man, and how Saitama power actually works, but yet you want me to sit here and entertain your opinion like your opinion doesn't just shit on the factual information and just contradicts the fuck out of it? What are we doing here? His name was Saitama. He became a hero for fun. Three years of special training made him lose all his hair, but he gained invincible power. He achieved such strength that he can defeat any opponent, however strong, with one punch. So it literally 
makes no sense for you to argue that Saitama loses to Goku because Goku's stronger. Goku is not stronger. Saitama Power literally does not give a flying fuck. It doesn't give a flying fuck. I will add in a whole bunch extra, but I just want to get to the point. This alone, common sense would tell you, oh, if he can defeat any opponent, however strong, that means his power isn't capped at three-dimensional genius. Common sense will tell you that. The core have made it clear that even if the worst outcome had occurred with the death of me and all the other heroes right before your eyes, you would have transcended time and space to save us all. In order to transcend time and space, that's already a 4D fucking feat. So you saying his infinite power caps out at infinite 3D? It's just blatantly false. This is even more information. And, and you're saying, oh, well, Goku's co cosmology is higher. Therefore, he beats Saitama. Dude, every character power isn't restricted to their cosmology and how high their cosmology is. You got some characters who are just straight up above their cosmology, infinitely. Saitama is a perfect example of that. He literally has no limit to his power. So you sitting here arguing that Goku can defeat him because his cosmology is higher, blah, 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 blah. It's all null and void. I don't care about your opinion. I only go by the facts. And I'm damn sure enough not going to tolerate an opinion that contradicts the facts. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. And I won't waste my time responding to any more of your comments on that post. I have zero patience for people who put their own head cannon over the factual info itself. This is what this shit is showing us. This is what it is. According to Einstein, you need to describe where you are not only in three-dimensional space length, width and height, but also in time. Time is the fourth dimension. So when Garo says, right before your eyes, you have transcended time and space to save us all. Your ability to transcend and manipulate the laws of causality is now proof positive of your completely flawless sense of heroism. Garo transcended time and space and manipulated causality. That's a 4D feat right there. So you saying Saitama would only max out at 3D is false as well. If we're going based off cosmology, which Saitama Power doesn't care or give a fuck about cosmology. His shit just literally has no limit. But it's funny. Even with somebody like Kazagaro confirming that he's infinitely strong, you still got people sitting here twisting his shit. Oh, he's growing in power. That means his power isn't, he's not infinitely strong, just his potential. While at the same time, no potential is literally getting stated here. He says he's so strong, infinitely strong. He's talking about his strength, not his potential. What part of this is so hard to understand for people? And they wonder why I just be dismissing their fucking head cannon left to right. I have zero tolerance for the shit, man. I have zero tolerance for this bullshit. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? And, and it's funny. The only thing time Saitama's potential has been mentioned when a doctor was explaining the limiter and how Saitama removed his. But from that, we can get, I can sense an immeasurable energy from him. Hmm, you're immeasurable, really? Then we get Kazagaro, he's infinitely strong. And of course, we get the graph literally showing his strength with the infinity symbol. His strength literally is the infinity symbol. 
And then we get, there was no longer anybody left to measure what level Saitama's strength had reached. This man is literally constantly growing at the same time, at an immeasurable rate. Like, what are we doing here? So when I sit here and read your fucking shitty headcanon, it's like, why are you imposing your fucking headcanon limitations on a work of fiction that doesn't follow these rules right here? What are we doing? So Tama doesn't get past infinite 3D because the highest a being can get if they have infinite potential is infinite. Th what the fuck are you getting this? The versus wiki page? You just took this shit and ran with it and just forced it on a character where it doesn't apply? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Ooh, Goku's 5D is cosmologist. I don't give a fuck. Compare Goku to a character who literally doesn't have a limit. Because when people like you come up in this bitch talking about blah, 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 this character is strong. Oh, you're just being biased and can't accept any arguments because your arguments are trash. About how this character can beat Saitama or that character can beat Saitama. They're not beating Saitama. But yeah, leave your comments in the comment section. I'm done here.